I've got a really fun video for you today. I'm going to be showing you how to hand paint your own contemporary designs on 12th scale vases. So to paint the vases I'm going to be using acrylic paint and I've actually bought this lovely set of 24 colours from Amazon but you can find sets like this on eBay or on really good craft websites. And in there you get a small canvas, which we won't be using today, but that's a nice little addition to the set. And then you've got a plastic mixing palette, which will also come in useful. You get three different sized brushes, although these are quite large for this project, but I will put those in my drawer and use them for other projects. And I'll show you the brushes I'll be using for the vases in a moment. And then you've got the 24 lovely shades. So I've got here a selection of detailing brushes and these are size zero. And then I've got a larger one here which can be used for blending the paint on the vase. I've also got some water to clean the brush in, some tacky wax and cocktail sticks. And that's how we'll be painting the vases. So we'll be poking a cocktail stick inside with a bit of tacky wax on it to hold them firm whilst we're painting and then a sponge which we can stand them in to dry. I've got a couple of pieces of kitchen towel here and then obviously the vases and these are little terracotta vases and these are available for sale in my Etsy shop in packs of 12 as you see them here and I'll pop a link to the shop in the description box below this video. Okay, so let's get started. So I just want to start by saying if you find that any of the pots don't actually stand up like this one doesn't, then you can use a piece of sandpaper and just very carefully sort of rub them along it like that just to flatten off the bottom. And then that will stand up. And I've only had one like that in each packet. So I've been having a bit of a practice this morning with varying degrees of success but it is so much fun and before you get started do a little bit of research and have a look on Google and just put in something like decorative vases or hand painted vases and that will give you a few ideas. Now I really love vases in real life as well and I've got a few nice ones here and I've copied a couple of those as well. And as I was having a practice, Matt come and said, what are you doing? That looks interesting. And he had a go as well. And I must say his are a lot better than mine. And he copied our black and white leaf vase, which is there. And then he's done these lovely sort of marbly swirly effect ones as well. And I'm going to have a go at one of those in a moment. But I want to start by showing you how to do a faded vase. And this is one that I had a go at. And that goes from black to brown to cream at the top there. So let's start with that one. So begin by choosing your vase. And I think I'm going to choose this one. It's got a really nice shape to it. And then get a little bit of tacky wax on the end of a cocktail stick. Sort of press it around the end like that. And then you can actually push that into the neck of the vase. Like that. And then that will hold it firmly while we work on it. So I've dispensed some paint into the palette and I've got white and some black. And this time I'm going to use raw sienna. Last time I used the raw umber, but that was a little bit too dark, so you couldn't really see the grading. And I'm going to start with the darkest colour at the bottom. I'll take this smaller brush. And I'll probably want to go about a third of the way up, or half the way up that sort of base bit. And just apply the paint. Just pop a little bit on the bottom as well. I'm just going to pop that brush into the water and use the next one and take up some of the raw sienna 
and then I'm going to overlap the black coat there just by a little bit and see how that's pulling a bit of the black in and as well you really only need to dispense a tiny little bit of the paint probably the white you'll use a little bit more but I've put far too much um, of the other colours in there so you really do only need a tiny little dot of paint so I'm just going round and round pulling that black into the next colour that, put that one in there and then I can finish with the white if your brush is a little bit flared then sort of just make it into a point by twisting it around in the paint. And then I'm going to finish with the white at the top. Make sure you sort of get around the top rim of the vase there as well. Otherwise when you remove it you'll still be able to see the terracotta at the top there. And then I'm going to take my blending brush and just want to do this really gently just go around the area that you've painted and you're just really blending in that line and if you're a little bit slow and it's started to dry you can just apply a little bit more paint and I'm going to turn that over and go around the white as well and that's creating a really nice sort of two-tone effect at the top there as well, which is nice. I like that with the raw sienna in there, because you can actually see a bit more sort of grading. And now I'm really going around the whole thing. And just sort of blending in the colours. Now I've obviously chosen these sort of darker colours but you could obviously use any colour this will look nice in nice bright colours as well and I just know you're going to have so much fun doing this and choosing different designs so there's our first vase I really like that this is the sort of colour scheme I like in real life so I think that's why I've begun with that so let's put that now in our sponge to dry, like that. And it doesn't actually take long to dry either, but I would say leave them there for a good sort of half an hour or so before you try removing the cocktail stick because you don't want to have to touch your paint and end up ruining it. So just leave them there to dry half an hour to an hour. Okay, let's do another one. So this is one that I did earlier and I want to have another go at this and this time I'm going to do a white base and I'm going to use the burnt umber paint which is this nice sort of chocolatey dark brown colour. So for this particular one because we're going to be scraping back the top coat of paint using a cocktail stick you'll need to do a base coat and let it dry. So I've just done a white base coat there and that's been drying for half an hour and now I'm going to apply the darker coloured paint. So let me just um, dry off one of my paint brushes. Okay, so the darker colour then I just want to apply to the bottom of the vase. That's a really lovely colour that. Is it the raw umber or burnt umber I think I said didn't I? I think raw umber is darker still. Okay, like that. I'll just put a bit of that on the bottom as well. Then I'm going to stick with the same pattern, but obviously, you know, you can do whatever pattern you like here. You might want to be a little more inventive. But for this one, I just did some lines down the vase like that, just scraping away the paint and wipe it onto a piece of kitchen towel <laughs> went a bit wonky there 
but it doesn't matter with this sort of design. It doesn't have to be, you know, particularly neat and exact. And then I just went around and did some little lines going across, like that. I'm actually just going to change cocktail sticks, that one had gone a little bit flared at the end. And you need to work quite quickly with these because your paint will start to dry and go a bit tacky as mine is now. So that's why it's not coming off as easy. <laughs> there. Tribal style bars. And you could use this technique as well to do leaves and other sort of shapes. There's little squares or little dots or, you know, anything, anything at all. I quite like that. So here's a lovely one that Matt did earlier. And I really like this sort of marbly, swirly effect. So he showed me how to do it, so I'm going to have a go now. And I'm not sure if mine will turn out as nice as his, but I'm going to do mine in green. So the colours I'll be using is sap green, black and white. So let's pop that there for reference. And I'm using that same style vase because I think that effect looks really nice on this one. So we want to begin by painting the whole vase using white. And this time we don't have to let it dry, so Matt says it's best if it's actually wet because then you can swirl the paint a lot easier. Now I'm not actually very good at painting, um, you know, little flowers and things by hand. But if you are, you could really go to town on these. Little flowers or leaves, other little designs. Maybe imitate the Claris cliff sort of design, all those lovely bright colours. There's just so much you can do with them. And of course you can just paint them in single colours, just to match your room setting some nice flowers in them or dried grasses or something will look really nice, really modern. And these as well are, are to scale because I think you find a lot of, um, you know, sort of pre-painted vases are quite large and in real life they'd be sort of almost two foot high so these are a really nice size as well will look nice on a shelf or a mantelpiece. Okay, so there's my base coat then. And I've got um, black on there, so I'll just wipe that off and put a little bit of green on. And Matt says it's all about swirling and turning, so <laughs> let me get a bit of the green. And um, let's have a look then. And I really don't know what I'm doing here or how it's going to turn out. So this is a real experiment, this one. <laughs> he made it look so much easier. Okay, so I've gone round then with my green. And I want to add a little bit of black in between those swirls. That green and white looks nice together. Um, that's my black there. I'm going to go back to my green and start blending. 
and although this isn't at all how it's meant to look see how easy it is just to make a really attractive nice little pattern let's put a bit more green on and then he said you then go over and blend what's already there and I'm really not sure I'm doing this right at all but let's just see what happens <laughs> with the green sort of blending all the colours into one so I'm working my way round but I think I'm just making it more into sort of one colour and then you go back to your white and you just sort of blend again going all the way around there, around the bottom or the top part of the vase as well so this isn't sort of turning out as Matt's did I don't think it looks quite as nice as his but I think it is still quite a nice little pattern a nice effect it looks sort of quite marbly So the colours underneath are still actually blending. So what I'm going to do is go back to a little bit of green. And I think you just sort of build it up. I think I might be just going a little bit too sort of mucky now, it's all sort of blending in a bit too much. But there are some nice little patterns on there, even though it's not, not quite how it should look, but I quite like the colours. I think actually I'm going to leave it there as I'm just going to end up making it look really mucky, but that's quite nice little sort of green slightly marbled vase so I'll pop that one in the sponge as well so I'm going to try another blended one now and I've got this lovely cobalt blue here so I want to do blue at the bottom and white at the top and then I'm going to blend it in the centre with black Was my white brush there? So I'm going to do this around the top and then just leave a tiny little line between the two so that I don't blend these two colours. Just get that around the top there. I'm obviously working on these quite quickly for the sake of the video but if you did want like a thicker coat of white paint you could then leave this first one to dry and then do a second coat so that you can't see any of that sort of terracotta showing through so that's that like that and then I want to do a line of black around the centre to sort of blend the colours in This time I'm overlapping the blue and the white. And like that, and then I'm going to take that blending brush and go around the center like that, really sort of pulling the three colors together. So 
So this is similar to the first one I did, that sort of blending, but just doing it in a different, different way. I'll put that in the sponge as well. So I've got another one here that I did in the cobalt blue earlier and now I want to go over it in white and again just scrape back some patterns. I'm going to do just some little sort of bird shapes. Again, working quite quickly because I want to work on the wet surface. And maybe you could just put some little dots down the middle. These are obviously really simple little shapes I'm doing. But like I said earlier, you could really go to town on these. And there are the completed vases. Now one thing I haven't done, but which you can do when you remove your cocktail stick, is just put a little bit of paint around the top there so that you can't see that terracotta actually on the inside of the vase. Now these really are just some simple basic designs just to give you a few ideas and to show you how easy it can be to create some really lovely contemporary designs on these vases and I know you're going to have a lot of fun and I know that you'll come up with some much better designs than I have. Now as I said earlier the little vases are available in my Etsy shop and I'll pop a link to the shop below. And if you do have a go at vase painting, I'd love to see your photographs and your designs. So please do share them in the group, little bits and pieces by you. And I'm sure you're already a member, but if not, I'll pop a link to the Facebook page below as well, where you can request to join. Now I'm currently working on a little chair for my study desk, and that will be the next tutorial, and that will be coming up very soon, so do look out for that. But for now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.